Here's the scoop on the furry situation with your corgi. First things first, take a deep breath. While it's not ideal that your groomer went a bit too Edward Scissorhands on your pooch, it's not the end of the world. Corgis, like many dogs, have what's called a double coat. That's their secret sauce when it comes to regulating body temperature and protecting their skin from the elements. So, here's what can go sideways. When you shave a double-coated dog, you're not just giving them a new haircut. You're messing with Mother Nature's design. That outer layer of fur, which may seem like just a pretty coat, actually insulates them in both cold and warm weather. The undercoat, which they shed, keeps them cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Now on to your question. Can it grow back properly? In many cases, a corgi's fur will grow back. But yeah, there's a catch. It might not be quite the same as before. The texture could change. It might grow unevenly. Or it could take a lot longer. It really depends on the individual dog. Genetics have entered the chat at this point, and they're notoriously hard to predict. The bigger deal is making sure your corgi's skin doesn't get burned by the sun now that its natural shield is down. Sunburn in dogs is no joke. They can't just slap on some aloe and call it a day like we can. What to do now first? Have a chat with your groomer. Communication is key. Groomers should know the ins and outs of different breeds, but everyone makes mistakes. Maybe they thought you wanted this. Maybe you thought they knew what they were doing. Let's make sure this doesn't happen again. In the meantime, keep your corgi cool and out of direct sunlight. Think about sunscreen for dogs. Yes, it's a thing, and it's vital until their coat grows back enough to offer protection. In Portland, the weather can be all over the place, so make sure to adapt your corgi's new wardrobe to the climate. Yes, dogs in sweaters can be adorable, provided they're used practically and not just for an Instagram photo shoot. Finally, nourish that coat from the inside out. High-quality dog food can sometimes be more expensive than the kibble on discount, but trust me, the meats, omega fatty acids, and lack of filler pays dividends for their coat and overall health. In the end, watch your pup's coat as it grows back. It might be just fine, albeit after an awkward bad hair month or two. If things look dicey for a while, or the coat seems like it's not returning to its former glory, then a trip to the vet's office might be in order. It's not the mistake that defines us, but how we recover from it. Your corgi won't hold a grudge, I promise. They're too busy thinking about treats and belly rubs. And so long as you've got plenty of those on hand, you'll both get through this furry faux pas just fine.